sorry guys i am so busy in my exam so that i did not went to hear okay now today's our my topic is insurance claims insurance claims there are two types of questions loss of stock and loss of profit and loss of stock i will make another video in practice when there are like 10 questions i will i will explain all these questions very easily and fastly okay now we are going to the step 7 seven Seven steps um, to calculate the loss of profit okay now going to step 1 gross profit of last year i mean like this last year's mm, remained it gross profit of last year is equal to net profit of previous year plus insured standing charges of current year divided by turnover of previous year okay it's nothing much much here just remind the formula turnover means nothing but total sales now you have to adjust the sales plus trend or minus trend you will get the gross profit of current year after adjusting the trend you will get the gross profit of current year now going to step 2 start short sales short sales is nothing but indemnity period you know that if the fire accident is occurred on 1st january 2017 and indemnity period will be given as 6 months indemnity period is given as 6 months that is that from here to you will add 6 months that is up to 31 5 2017 previous year we now we have to take for calculating short sales previous year previous year indemnity period sales that is if the fire accident is occurred on 1st january 2017 now you will take as 1 january 2016 to the same period exactly the years will just will change now adjust the sales sales after adjusting that you will get the estimated sales of the current year that is if the accident is not happened this will be the actual sales but as the accident is happening you will get the actual sales that is current year indemnity period sales given in the quotient it will be reduced from the estimated sales so that you will get the short sales but by this you will complete the step 2 step 3 step 3 is nothing but calculating of i mean multiplication of 1 into 2 step 1 is short sales into gross profit ratio is nothing but loss of profit now going to step 4 step 4 is like somewhat see if the accident happened on 1st january 2017 is accident happened now you have to go just 12 months preceding immediately preceding 12 months that is 1 1 2016 to 31 12 2016 that is turnover of previous year preceding immediately 12 months from the date of accident that is you have to adjust the trend here and you will get the adjusted turnover and after adjusting the turnover step 5 step 5 is nothing but a step 3 um, gross profit of 1 into 4 I mean gross profit and adjusted turnover this is known as insuperable amount and it will be used in the bank claim problem I mean at the last you will use it step 5 and it will be used in step 6 also actual expenses will be given in the question and in step 6 and gross profit there are three types it will be given in reduced sales is given you will first create a reduced sales if reduced sales is not given then it will be taken as sales due to the additional expenses if it is also not given then you have to go to sales in indemnity period okay on these three just remain the order and on this you have to do gross profit and after the step C I mean C expenditure actual expenses into step 5 it is nothing but gross profit and adjusted turnover by gross profit and adjusted turnover plus uninsured standing charges it is given in the question only or else you can find as it will be given as total insured charges total insured charges minus insured standing charges is nothing but uninsured standing charges you will find it very easily here list of the three will be taken as step six okay then going to the step seven total loss of profit total loss of profit loss of profit it is given in step four and okay then in step six we will get a increase in cost of working and it is you know that it is the least of the three savings in insurance standing charges of the current year is reduced from here and you will get the total loss of profit let it be taken as a now claim is equal to claim is nothing but standing i mean sum insured by insurable amount into total loss it is given in the question sum insured and it is total loss just found in step 7 and this is step 5 and so i said you know gross profit on adjusted turnover adjusted turnover okay he is my tip small into small my big this is nothing if this is just simple dpr you will be if you have any confusion in the question it will be just remember that big will win always in the denominator so that you can do actually the claim very easily okay now i'm giving a pdf in the description below from now onwards i'm going to make a simple video that is like seven to eight minutes on every video i mean every subject it's just simple tips i will give in it may be useful i know after doing all these sums you will be mastered but there are some i mean like new ones now they don't want to go, go to college or something like that they may have some some personal problem they will be helpful if my video is helped to anyone i will be very grateful here thanks for watching